Hey guys, this is Drew Gallagher. Today I'm going to show you how to use Instagram story highlights. Don't go anywhere. Instagram story highlights are really awesome. They're a great feature. It allows you to take past stories and then to put them into collections. It's a really great way to show off your personality and to allow your fans and your followers to be able to see your content that you put up a long time ago over time. They can see your progression of content and then they could see where you come from and what your roots are and what different things you're passionate about. So for an example, let's take a look at a brand like Nike. So we go to their brand page and as you can see, they have a ton of different story highlights. They're right here in the circles. And what they do is they actually have different athletes that uh, they are affiliated with and they also have like a wake up call kind of promotional thing and what you do when you click into one of these is you can you can see their stories and this is Gabby Douglas and you can look through her shopping with, for uh, Nike stuff and it's just kind of like going through the journey and notice at the top it says it was seven weeks ago so you can kind of see this journey over time and you can check in with different athletes on their page and everybody does this differently and one of the great features of this is in a story when you get 10,000 followers there's different calls to action it's really great to be able to maintain those same with like questions and polling and different features like that if, if you're somebody who's trying to make money online whether you're marketing your own product or brand or you are a digital marketer and you're trying to educate people or maybe you're in e-commerce you might be wondering why would you want to use story highlights well one way you could use story highlights is you could categorize the different pages that your brand is on. So for instance, you could have story highlights for like your Facebook page, your YouTube channel. And then what you could do is in each of the circles, you could add collections of stories that link to those pages. If we look at Gary Vee's page, he does it a little differently, but he has all of his different products. So like if you look at one of his products, which is Yummy Text, which is like a delivery service, and uh, if we go into that story, he's storing his polls, he's having his calls to action, so you can swipe up and it's still maintained and it will take me to his opt-in page, which would allow me to access his services. The nice thing is now you don't have to go back and create stories for things that you're gonna have you know, a call to action for for a long time, maybe years at a time. So if I wanted to add my own story highlight, what I could do is I could find the plus button that says new under story highlights right here and then I could click the plus and a lot of my stories will come up so I haven't done too many yet but I have done some and for instance if I wanted to share my polls with people that I've done over time what I could do is I could select some of the polls that I've done or questions maybe questions would be a different one and then I could put these in a uh, uh, like a category so I can title this and say like polls for you and then maybe the cover would be I could do that but I could choose different cover images if you click the edit you can pick one of the different stories if you click the little picture icon you can also pick a custom image I'm gonna pick this one because it looks good in like a circle when I click the add button it's gonna add it there and now when people visit my page they can click in here and they can see all the different stories that I had, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't have that many followers, obviously, but, um, you know, given that this is a new account, you know, I'm not going to have a lot of calls to action on here. But if you do have an account that you can grow up to 10,000 followers, you can do this. But you can also have other ways that you can link things. What you can do is you can actually create an IGTV video and then you can share that via your story. And then when they click on that, that you can link to your IGTV video. So what you could do is you could have a preview video in your content feed or your story and then it would be like a preview of the IGTV video. Then you would go to the IGTV video and then once you get there you would be able to direct them to a YouTube page. So it's kind of you know like a funnel. It's really useful to do that if you're not at 10k followers but you want to have a customer journey that you want to create within Instagram. So you can create a ton of these story highlights. They're really good to brand. A lot of people do it where they'll like make each one a different social media site. So like some people will make one for Facebook and then you have like your Snapchat and all the different ones. And then those stories pertain to that content group. So maybe you have a Facebook live or like a Facebook group and that content would be specific on how to find your Facebook group. Or if you have a YouTube channel like I do, 
what you would do is you'd make a like a story highlight, say, hey, go to my YouTube channel, and maybe you just put your title, or you link to an IGTV video, and then you talk about it there. So there's a lot of ways you can try to start branding your page. I would recommend just looking at a ton of different pages and seeing how they do it. You don't want to reinvent the wheel, and you want to follow trends, because if you're following trends, but you're still finding ways to stand out within those trends, your brand's going to stand out, it's going to be trending, you're going to be following the correct practices, and that's going to get your profile noticed, and people are going to take you seriously. Your goal is to become a point of authority in whatever niche you're in, and this is one great way to do that. And it's another great way to categorize your content. Your Instagram page really isn't searchable, but if you make these little categories, you're kind of making it sort of searchable. Like people will know where to find certain content, which is great. You're kind of creating like this content library, which is awesome. So those are the basics with story highlights. If you want to learn more about story highlights, say yes in the comments below. I'd love to make more videos on them. If you like this video, then smash that like button. If you want to learn how you can use Instagram to make six to seven figures online, then click the link in my description. I will outline that link for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you liked the content in this video and want to see more videos like this, please click the subscribe button. Make sure to click the little bell icon and turn on all notifications so when I come out with new content, you'll be notified.